So just to find the final uh, end of the previous um, section, I just want to add this onto that before I move into the next part, right? Uh, what I've done here is I've put everything together. So what we have, what we have basically is a little animation, right? What's happening? What's basically happening? I mean, obviously, Terminal is not exactly made for animating, so you can't really see anything exciting here. It's a bit hard to clear screen and uh, draw everything to the same spot. It's complicated to do it in Terminal. But nevertheless, I just kind of try to do it in a, in a motion where it's moving down and trying to give the image of closing scissors on the sides of this, as you can see here. It's just getting closer and closer to the line. <coughs> I'm moving away from the original kind of triangle. Anyway, but what I just want to quickly explain this. What's happening here, and this is important, this is again relative to OpenGL. I'm not just talking about this for the sake of talking about this. I'm talking about this because it's relative to the OpenGL API, which we're learning in the end, or we, which, which is the whole point of all of this. So, uh, <clears throat> and this is how also OpenGL API is going to be working. You're going to have your render function. Obviously, this is the hardware part of OpenGL, but nevertheless, you can see it from the software side as a software uh, renderer. You know, I have my function which is drawing to a frame buffer, right? That's our frame buffer again, don't forget. A frame buffer is full of pixels, right? Uh, you know, th what we have here is the way that it's drawing, it's using a, a linear function, a gradient. So this is a gradient. As the gradient is changing from one to eight, I'm drawing to the screen at the gradient for the all, for all, <coughs> for all 64 um, height of lines of that, of that, uh, square of that or of that frame buffer you know each line I'm drawing the uh, a point put into the gradient for that line uh, <coughs> and also drawing it in reverse and then I'm displaying the complete frame buffer really you know every single pixel in the frame buffer has been displayed and, and then I'm clearing that frame buffer to back to zero so that I don't want obviously to leave those lines in there because if I do then it's gonna be all each time we print it it's going to have all the previous lines and it's just going to be really messy. It's going to defeat the, going to sort of defeat the purpose of um, having, you know, try to create an animation in the first place. I'll show you here using my OpenGL. This is now this is OpenGL. This is pure OpenGL. As I've shown before already, this is my. Uh, now we have this going on on the screen. Now, but every time I'm actually drawing to the screen, I'm clearing the screen. If I didn't clear the screen. I'll show you what would happen if I just remove the clearing uh, command. Um, where are you? Where are you? Uh, where is uh, well, in this case, the reason we don't see the clear of the actual screen, it is happening though, is because of the GLX swap bus buffers. Because a window, not a general window that we create using <coughs> a general window we create with that visual context um, you know, apply the context to it it has two buffers it has a back buffer and a front buffer or a left back and a left front and then every time we draw a, a, a new you know a render a new scene from vertices you know what it does is it draws to the back one and then what we do is we swap the back one to the front one and now the one that was at the front before which is the back one uh, that gets um, <coughs> that gets full, filled with the next, you know, change in data or whatever. Or if maybe if it's the same data, it's the same data, and it gets swapped again. But obviously, you're not going to see it in my situation. Normally, you would. Normally, if you're drawing to the screen, you would have to clear it because if you didn't clear it, then you'd have everything coming up. You know, like let's just say you drew a line across, across, you know, halfway across the screen. And then you <coughs> draw another line on the other side of the screen. If you didn't want to see both lines, you'd have to clear it first. But for the for the in the case of animation, right? Animation is going to need you to actually, you know, draw separate uh, frames which have separate kind of images on them to create that sort of uh, sort of uh, um, perception of animation of an object changing on the screen, tweening or whatever you want to call it. But that's basically it. So this is my OpenGL program, which is, as you saw before, it just prints that 
two images to screen the back image the background image which which is here and then also uh, as well as the <coughs> front image which is here you know this is i mean it looks complicated yes this is the vertices for the back one this is the vertices for the front one which is that little um, cat cat face and what i'm basically doing is after i've loaded it into uh, open open gl sorry after i use the api to load it into the graphics memory that i'm reading it from graphics memory <coughs> After, of course, storing everything into a vertex array object. I'll get into all of this later on, but for now, all you need to know is that what I was trying to make a reference to before was that we do actually need to um, clear the screen if we're going to give the appearance of an animation. Unless, of course, the animation is dependent upon, upon something on the screen remaining, whatever it is. Anyway. <coughs> 